learning it for us. What's up, Brian? Right now I'm eating lunch. Looking at the Ohio River and its chocolate milk of waves. And now I'm eating lunch. Mmm, rallies. Y'all can see that. I can't zoom the camera in. What the hell? That's a hot river over there. Got one more stop, but I was hungry, so I just ate. Taking a nap. Taking no nap. One and a half rally burger. Can't take a nap. What's up, dog? Maha River looks like chocolate, wavy chocolate milk. Let me finish my sandwich and my fries. And I'll walk out there. And show you guys the, what it looks like over here where the Scioto dumps into the Ohio River. Right now, I'm stuffing my face because it's lunchtime. The wind's kicking too, boys. If anybody's out there fishing, they better be careful. That wind is dang to a rest. The storms are be heading this way. And that wind is kicking. Sicking the whole truck. Hello. Hello, you other three lurkers. Oh, man, that wind's kicking. Mm -hmm. We have three lurkers. One's probably that Chad. You got one more stop, and we should have service the whole way back, I think. So I might just stay live until I get back to the warehouse. Because all they're talking about on the Pat McAfee show is that Indiana, well, Iowa girl. Mm. I don't have it right now, dog. 
Want to take a trade? <laughs> Go up, Keith Doc Green. Give me a second and I'll walk over here. I'm almost done. Holy oh, crap. A tree floating down the river. I can beat you in a race right now for Shizor. <laughs> Three-legged dog, could you beat you in the race? <laughs> you see how bright and sunny it is right now. I can see the clouds to the east or to the west. Well, that's the way I'm facing the west. Couldn't go down to that uh, eddy that I used to go to. You know, I have to roadblock off because the water's so high. Sorry, very much wind noise. Yeah. It's a chocolate milk for our river. the rivers out there. Probably been out there in a couple of weeks. So. <laughs> Maybe not longer. Like I said, sorry about the wind. Don't jump. Nope, my name's not Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that wind is kicking. The 
Sorry about the wind, fellas. Crap, you got to get my cut grass. I already did. Normally there's a road that comes down right here. Right here there's a turnaround. That's where the Scioto lets out, right here. here on these steps of fish. I wouldn't say you catch anything, uh, maybe. Last week, the water was where I am staying, and it was way up. It was above this. Man, that wind's kicking. It's pushing water back up the Scioto. over. That water looks angry. That down there is normally a road. Water now.
that wind is kicking. I'm seeing it higher than this. Keep getting rain though, it'll be back up here. Killer dog turned the bite of me. Jump out of the car. Boat down there. Way up here. I don't know that. That's that parking lot. <laughs> Time to get back on the road. Got one stop and back to the warehouse. Like I said, I'm just gonna stay live. I don't think nobody else is live. If they are, oh well. <laughs> the storm should be moving in probably here in the next hour or so. Holy moly, the door just smacked me. Stop. Wind is kicking in the fillers. Oh, it's breaks not over. I still got a couple minutes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, still got two minutes. One. Well, that wind is kicking. Hey. Let's see if we make it back. Or the storm will roll on me. And this big box truck welling all over the place. Might see me flip it on its side, who knows? Sure, when I looked before I started live, I looked at the radar, they looked like they were coming. Time to roll out. My 30 minute break. Great sun's out there. And yeah. The sun comes out and then the storms will follow. It's just energy for the storms that are coming this way. That's why it's so dang windy. Thirty minutes. Time to roll. Time to roll out. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm only a few minutes away from the last stop.
you know, my boss could be watching. <laughs> However, yep, that's the Ohio where the Sio lets in. Somebody killed that stop sign a time or two. Now we cross the Sioni River, which is flooded. Can't stop getting rain. Holy moly. Holy crap. It's kind of spooky. That used to be a baseball field over there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nobody's getting on uh, going to the baseball field today. <laughs> You're fishing the baseball field. Most over the bleachers. Yeah, no, at least the water's not covering this part of the road. About to though. <laughs> What's up, NJ? Got the yellow barrels out for when they close the road down here already. Holy moly, that field used to be normally not a field. That's normally a field, not water. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yep. Roads closed. High water. High water. That to the right, normally a field that's not normally water. See all the tree leaves or whatever it is flying across the road. Oh, wonder if the fish come up in here now that the water's high. Still wouldn't want to fish over there. There were white camps over there. You guys can see that to the right. That's supposed to be a field, not water. <laughs> Sciota backed up. Can't stop getting all this rain here in Ohio. Chocolate mail. The river's probably a half mile away, actually, <laughs> from the road here. Maybe even a mile. Let's do my last stop, drop it off, and then we'll head to, back to the warehouse, see if we beat the storm, but I seriously doubt it. Clouds are moving in to the left. Eight tires I got to unload here. They're already at the back of the truck. Stupid. Big box truck turn for in here. Well, none of y'all leaving anytime soon because 
I ain't moving. Give me a minute, I'll be back for it with you. Let me go in with these doors. The door ain't shut. Oh, that was funny. We're going to get any more rain down here. I'm going to have to start delivering your tires in the boat. She said, yeah. What's up, CBA Stonefly? Anybody else I missed while I was unloading them tires? Well, out of breath now. Fatting out of shape. Well, round is the shape. I'm in West Portsmouth. Don't fly, just dropped off tires and tires are us. You know where that is. Actually heading north up 104.
and towards Waverly. Dang, it's all the way back up up here, too. At least that baseball field above, above water. Looks like the storms are up north. Still sunny down here. I'll probably get the torn to severe weather later, probably. Except before I got live, I looked and it looked like they were popping up up north. I mean, this I'm kicking, blowing me all over the place. See it's flooded up here by 73. Brings back to it's back up into the creek. I'll be following the side to be up on the right hand side of the screen. Yeah. It's nice to let these truckers here, even though I'm going to be back. I my turn to be on. That way, hope that got behind me. Too bad because normally if it gets real high, this right here floods. This, this part of the road floods. It's getting there, I know that. Took the rain to go away. Get a couple nice days and then in the rain. For three or four days, then you get a couple of nice days, then rain again. Can't wait till it stops raining all the time. Watch Lake. Which lake are you going to fish in? Burroughs, where that is. Kind of hard for me to read the chat because it's bouncing up and down the phone is. You know, you can tell. I read some of it. This is what I do most of my day is this right here, window watching. I like Uncle Lou window licking. That's what Uncle Lou does. Jim Amarillo, any other person from Iowa, they're a bunch of window lickers. <laughs> Iowa window lickers.
See all the clouds up in front of me. I build them. Build them. Maybe bring out a nader. If we'll get lucky, we'll see a nader. <laughs> Doubt it though. Get far enough to work. Plus, it's a little hilly down here. They don't have this front windshield cocked in here properly. You hear the whistling. The air blowing in here. And it rains real hard, at least on that side, passenger side. And then it gets bumped, it bubbles up on the bottom part. It bubbles. It's the reinstalled this window. They didn't do it right. They didn't cock it up right. Seal it up properly. There. Smokey trying to hide behind the building to catch somebody's speed. Not me. My name ain't Jody. <laughs> oh boy, I know I'm boring. Somebody down there fishing. Either that or they're camping out. White SUV. Looks like a Ford. Oh, man. Green light. Under the bridge. Almost under the bridge. Take a ride with me. Take a ride with me. 
because clouds are a lot thicker once you get probably up the Waverly. One thing that went below me across the road. That's when you get a big gust. You can feel it. I can feel it. Another good thing about staying on 104, you got this hill to the left. Blocking it. Kind of, sort of. Where if I was on 23, I'd feel the whole front of the way been blown at me. The front is pretty sick water. Bug. Hell, water was up. Weird, right? You can see all the bugs. Grass. Campground right up here around the corner. Freaking new nine campground flooded, but all the rivers flooded, pushing all the water back up into these creeks. Probably the fish too. Yeah. Bend in the river around there. Big gust wind. Hey, Mike Irvin. See if I can beat the storm before they come. I know I'll end up getting them all the way home from work. I just dropped off my last stop, heading back to the warehouse. Well, a lot of people you already know, they watch sports nets or buggies. That's what I do all day, right around. Look at all the scenery. Mainly what the job uh, intends or however he said. It's a lot of this dry. Yeah, I think I'm going to be making certain storms get here. 
Wow, they're getting thicker on my left. Sun's still out, though. That's probably a bad thing because it's just giving the storms energy. Energy to fire up. What's up, Miss Chrissy? Creek was up too. That's true. Right here, so I feel a lot of wind. Wind, 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 wind. What's up, uh, pizza? Leave it, please. Can't see with the screen jumping all around. Yeah, I sure it's down to make it certain. Down, I put gas in this thing either. Much. I'm heading back to the warehouse, then I'll be heading home. I'll be iffy about living on over here on the right. You know what I mean? Wander eyes in your get out of love. That water comes up. Start getting that get 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 gone. Another field is water in it. Didn't have water. See how high it is. Got another you know, four feet for it. For each of the over here. Guarantee you, though, it was up there last week. Probably why half that field ain't been plowed. You on 35 or 104, 104 North, heading towards Waverly. What's Ernie doing? Playing video games? Ah. Yeah, it would be iffy about living next to the river, that especially that close. No way, no way. It's swimming all, but not fast, but water. Right now, that's what the side of the river is. Fast moving water. Fast moving chocolate milk. <laughs> you know, you don't pull out in front of me. If you go pull out in front of me, you better go. Sunfish Creek. But I just went over.
Yeah, me too, but you know what tomorrow so Storms are getting ready to move in on us. Things are supposed to get pretty bad tonight, but who knows? Only Mother Nature knows. There's that divot where the backflow goes in. Floods. Up on the contours there. That tree fell on the road. Too much water. Couldn't hold it up. Almost to Waverly. Got seven miles still Waverly. Be hitting up 23. I think they're widening this bridge. That's what I think. Because it's keep her in the tray here. Whatever it is. I hope you're paying attention to me back there, Nissan. I got the brakes on. Yeah, this construction truck pulling in over here. Mm. Yeah, that's what I think they're doing. I think they're fighting this bridge. Turned down on that Cave Creek home. Good fishy spot right there where that creek comes in. Park at this parking lot right over here and fish too. Once in a while, when I come over this bridge, I'll be looking down there and there'll be people fishing down there. Right now, I wouldn't want to because the water the way high it is. You have to have big weight, big weight to let it keep it there. She says she's taking a nap. Oh, a nap. I think. Oh. I'll be okay take a nap. We come for tomorrow. Somebody told me this nice little bait store in this little town. I don't know what the heck it's named. Up. Ohio Valley Bait and Tackle is what it's called. Pull out in front of me, Smokey. Unless you're going to get hit. It'd be your fault. You'll be liable. I'm going to say, oh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yep. Most of my life is driving my life away. At least I'm getting paid for a drive right now. Most of the time, man. That's a nice Trans Am. Yep, this is what I do most of my days. Drive, drive, drive. Got a little boots there. Start paying attention to the road. Oh, 
See how people live next to the river like that. It freaked me out. See that water rising, slowly rising, keep rising, keep rising. And then your doorstep, you're like, oh man. <clears throat> Wouldn't be so bad if there was some weight in the back of this truck, but there ain't nothing back here, so. When that wind blows, I feel it. Basically, if it blows from the right, you're right. Blows in front of me. It's not bad. I mean, behind me, it puts you. In front of me, it doesn't do much. And it's going to turn the side, boy. You could surely feel it. Bunch of trash in the water. Yeah, yeah. Get closer to the storm clouds. Jump the nymph over there. Jump the nymph. Up to the lake. Lake White. White Lake? Lake White? Uh, I don't know. I think it's Lake White. There's a bunch of turtles on that log. What's up, Big Mike? Corey here. Oh, man. Said the clouds are getting darker ahead of me, but I'm still in the sunshine. How long? Probably not very long. Further getting north, more darker it seems to get. I just want to get out there, get out of there, get out of the warehouse before it starts really forward. Get my butt home. It's Ryan Hall live yet, Mike? You're the one that turned me on to that guy. <laughs> you know, if Ryan Hall is live, it's something bad's about to happen. Have naders or something. Old Lake White. It's a beautiful house over here. Clubhouse and all that. Looks like chocolate milk, too. At least the water's not up. If the water was up there in the parking lot last week. I don't know how they regulate the water here. No, it's a spillway over here. But it was. It was. Bad as it was last time down here. We got an hour, 20 minutes to go. Said the clouds are getting thicker and darker ahead of me. But said the Wilson. Hmm. 
35. Slow down. I got paragraphs in here. There's no way I could read that. Oh, man. Great town of Waverly, Ohio, where you get stopped at every other red light. That's the way it seems to me. It's the only way through Waverly is 23. I, I guess they're back roads, but I wouldn't try to take this down the back roads. Mm, There's a good pizza shop over here called Fred's Pizza. If you ever get a chance? They used to have a buffet, but thanks to Corona, that went away. <laughs> They used to have a pizza buffet, and they used to serve uh, beer on draft. Been there since 1971. They got good pizza, though. I know that. I like their three little pig. Fred, Fred, pizza. Let's stop it. Let's see. Doesn't pay to be in no hurry. Pays better to take your time. Wow. Hard to think of stuff about everything. Like. Am I going to be able to split it that sheriff truck? Sure, and keep your kids on drugs. <laughs> Nope, I didn't make it all the way through Waverly without stopping at least one or two lights. Honk in the horn. Dude, the light just changed. Why are you honking the horn? Patience is a virtue. Swear. People are in such a hurry. How you make mistakes and get hurt because you're in a hurry. No, damn. Take it easy. It'll be there when you get there. Ah. If you at least get two or three. Normally, always the last one gets me. That's the one I can't stand the most. One up by Kroger's. Or the one down by Walmart. The two I don't like the most. I wish there was like a alternate route. Hey, Miss Jody. I oh, wish there was an alternate route where you didn't have to go straight through Waverly, but they designed Waverly like this so that you would stop and spend money in Waverly. Probably why there's all these stoplights down here. Hmm. You need to stop spending money in Waverly. This is my thought on it. This stupid light 
right here is the one I need the most. And yes, I want to stop that. I'm in this car back. Semis, I don't know why they get left lane right here. They should always stick to the right. Let's get them getting up this hill right here. Yeah, it's to get over. Make me slow down. And... <laughs> Ain't in no hurry, though. Go ahead, bud. So the only thing in Waverly I like, the only thing in Waverly I like is that Fred's Pizza. Everything else sucks. <laughs> I go to my sister's camper and I like to stop in there. And bring the empty box back to my nephew. That's so nice of me. <laughs> and to keep him, he's thinking I'm gonna give him a couple slices of pizza. Nope, I give him an empty box to burn. Now, if you ever get a chance to go to Fred's, order the three little pigs. It's good pizza right there. I ain't had it in a while because I ain't. This first time I've been to Portsmouth in a couple weeks. So I ain't complaining. I guess they, uh, Brian had to run my route Monday. He had to come down here. Now it's just straight shot up 23. I didn't look to see where the super load was. Dude, I mess with my nephew like that all the time. Curtis will tell you. <laughs> I do it to him too. <laughs> like sometimes I'll stop the Jersey Mike's and then I'll throw the wrapper in his trash can just so he has to see it. <laughs> that mean? Or is that just thoughtful? Let him smell the aroma. I think it's awesome. It's like normally when I go to rallies, I take pictures and send it to J Dog and my nephew. Especially J Dog. But J Dog don't care anymore because he's, you know, he's eating his chicken today. I think today's chicken day. I think. Sure, you can't, can't get me a pizza. <laughs> always have Mario Andretti come bring you a pizza. It'll probably still be hot by the time he gets there. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's clouds darker up here. I don't know if I believe on Blue that she drives like that. Yeah. 
And I found out this morning that the main warehouse guy in the morning, third shift, that's what they call it, it comes in at 11 at night. He'd go, he put his two week notice in. I'm thinking about just switching off from one of the warehouse. So the, the, I used to enjoy driving. Now I can't stand it. I don't want to be in the passenger seat. I just want to. And enjoy the ride, look around at all the scenery and everything. When you're driving, you gotta keep your your eyes open and around you because all the other idiots. <laughs> He's going up to the left of me, pretty dark. Clouds, sun, sun still shining on this, this Roman day. I think the last time I did this by myself was when I was uh, no, I did it that one day I took 33 back. But my most popular live is driving in the snow. Turning the camera so you can see the jacked up jackknife in my eyes and all that. People that slid off the road. They want to be in a hurry. How accidents happen is because you're in a hurry. <laughs> Not paying attention to what you should be. Not in a hurry for nothing anymore. I rush to die. That's what you do every day. Live to die. Brother probably went back to sleep. <clears throat> Hopefully not. Stuck to better be making my biscotti. Coming from behind me now. No, where he is. So, hopefully, it's making biscotti. Biscotti, 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 whatever you want to call it. It's windy. I mean, right. Who knows, he might be lurking. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, 
Don't surprise me one bit if he's not listening. Read the chat. Look at my stupid brother. <laughs> Left plane's closed ahead. What for? Car for him. He knew he wasn't going to make it. Hey, idiot, you're supposed to slow down and hurt some. It's double the fine. Hey, heck, they're doing it. Got a fragile one up here on the bird. It might be repairing the bridge. What are you doing? Speedy traffic. Super load's got to come back up through here. This ain't enough room for him. Almost a stink of coffee. Stinkiest town in Ohio, I think. Kilo coffee. Says on that water sign, the first capital of Ohio until they smelled it. And it was like, no, nope, we're moving north. <laughs> You can't have the capital of Ohio smelling like this. <laughs> Never would think paper would stink so bad. Yeah. Oh, cow, cow can's gone. Frank Road don't stink no more. Cat food can place is gone. Even though it was there. <laughs> nah, that paper mill stinks. Royally stinks real bad. Real, real bad. Stinks real, real bad. I didn't know paper stunk so bad. Current speed up to 60. It should speed up a little bit. Speed up, so you, people don't look at you like you're crazy. Hey, God, just pull right in front of me like that. What's wrong? Billy, I think Bugman's trying to get a hold of you. I got with Billy, yeah, Billy. I still don't understand why you can't fish over there. Take. So 
the most cigarette break time, teens or stick, whatever you want to call it. Bad habit. We're out now. Buddy, I didn't get over. over. Oh, you let me over. I'm going to run you over. Hey, what's up, 205? Wow, action. Buckman wants to come down and ride it. He say Hatfield McCoy Trail or something down there by you, Billy. Uh, nice or good this weekend. Why don't the win? It's be nice and calm in the mid 60s. That's a good time and a good day to go fishing. It's not too hot, not too cold. I'm just worried about the wind. You know, right, right, right around here. So Actually, to the left, just by the railroad track bridge. It's a good place down here in Osio to, to catch your flatheads. I don't know where you park at, but that's what I've been told. Well, what you hear and what you do is two total different things. Take me a little break here in a minute. Then head the rest of the way back to Columbus to the dumb, the dumb warehouse. Hopefully, Andrew, not small waters, whatever. Andrew that I work with is not there. I don't want to hear his stupid mouth. Sure, everybody's got one employee at work they wish they didn't work with. Well, Andrew's that employee for everybody that works at our warehouse. Ah, oh. it's pretty windy here. It's work time. It's a little trying to do my nasty habit as Curtis calls it. Just smoke some nicotine, and I'll get back on the road. <laughs>
It's beautiful all out here, but it's windy. I'm starting to pick up. Maybe I will make it. Here it looks like the rain is moving in a little short. Well, you guys can see the wind blowing in bushes over there. Clouds are coming fast, too. Get that, that dog safe, huh? Oh, God. That's too sweet. We need some entertainment. What do you want me to do? Now, if a nasty happens to a smoking nasty cigarette, my brother would say. Oh, oh we're just going to shut. Still feels warm out there. Mm -hmm. On the road again. Right, so make sure to get over on the end. And this is a in front of me. Oh. 
Come on, bug man driver. Push the gas. It's on the right. Uh oh. Smokey pulled out. I wonder if he got him somebody. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. He didn't turn the lights on. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He's running somebody's plates up there. Maybe. No. Can't see because the stupid signaling truck's in the way. Growing up pizza joint. Going back to the warehouse. <laughs> he must have ran that guy's place. Must have been good. He turned he bucks into you. He's going the opposite way. Dang, I was hoping to see somebody get tasered on the side of the road. <laughs> Bug wash plant. On status, chill coffee. See, if I was, I was going home, I'd be hitting that way. Solar field. I actually, I think Curtis is making the skitty. That's what he's supposed to be doing. Notes. What's your water going to be like Saturday, dog? Your water's all right. You want to go, bro? 1v1 or 2v2? You, you and Sam, bro, versus Curtis and Eric. Oh, the 
size low. Looks like some kind of press sheet. Yeah, a real challenge. All right, it's a real challenge. Don't have your ring or tarot with you. Be the next day. Shit, your water's probably still going to be messed up with all this rain we're hitting now. Here's a part of the problem about fishing a river. It takes river longer to settle down than the, the lake reservoir. Yeah, sounds like he sounds like he's chicken. That's what it sounds like. J Dog scarred. Actually, I had pizza yesterday. <laughs> That's true. But I hope the weather is changing. I have to go to bed earlier. If not, just uh, come on Friday night, pick up the boat, Curtis, and head out. Head out. Get to the water before Jody's thing comes on. Spank her, spank her and her, all her people around, show them how to fish. Get up, be at, take a nap out there on the boat and be like, hey, dog, I'm ready. You want to go, bro? <laughs> Got out of bed before noon last Saturday. Got up, made me some French toast. Ate, went out there, spray painted the boat. And I turned around, went upstairs, took a nap. Did nothing the rest of the day and laid around the house. I know I cut grass too, Saturday. I cut the grass for the first time Saturday. Too, too much grass I need to cut. I'll be too busy this weekend fishing. That's what I'm hoping. When I looked this morning, it said 62, partly cloudy Saturday. But who knows? You know, that's one job you can lie and keep your job. Well, oh, oh, bouncing in and out, old oh, man, service, what's going on? We can lost a big too. <clears throat> that's what we that's what I should call it. You wanna go, bro? You wanna go, bro, bro? Go bro series. 
Catfishing's the best brothers of catfishing. Yeah. Stop to tank up. So it's only forty seven minutes. Stop it. Walmart on the way home. Probably work. Have to look. <clears throat> my, <clears throat> I have to look at this place weather Saturday. Look at their look at his water. Say, hey, don't be don't be a chicken dog. You're always sitting there and you want to go, bro. Oh, I'm ready to go. Nine to two, nine to let me go. Five hours. Is that long enough, bro? Right. Is that too long? Can't like wait that long. Can't fish that long. You can't fish worth it. Anyway, I'll see that cloud up ahead of me. Let's see. I made it to Starkville without any rain. Tesla. Talk for me for what? Are you scared of that dog? Jody, what did Jody say? I can't see it too much. Uh. Oh, Jody's talking smack. Hey, Miss D. That Chadwick fell at. Oh, that's right. He's got to host the tournament this weekend. I do believe. I do believe Mr. Chadwick's got to host the tournament. Get some fish this weekend. I'll just be happy to be out. Be happy to be out fishing. Got the boat all cleaned up, painted. Got new, the new numbers on it. Opening. Oh, it's in the lows. 
low to mid 60s it's, it's partly cloudy no wind that's what i'm hoping come on mr weatherman make it happen Go catch bait and go catch fish. Oh, something bad. Nice say. Just, yeah, I'm, I've gotten old and I'm scared of everybody that wants to call me out. I'm a, a dog chicken now. Oh, dang dog. Oh man, Jean Jody. <laughs> Scared of her. I said she got that she got that Friday night flathead challenge. It's gonna be a couple times when the brothers come up there and spank them all. Everybody on that challenge. Hey Ashley Brady, songbird. Oh, it's crazy foot. No, I didn't say nothing about Tara. I said Sambro. But a challenge. Can't see the stupid screen keeps bouncing. Me. Bouncing. I don't do it. Why you? You haven't caught a big fish since nineteen eighty two. What? I fish for fun, not for money. I thought the dog challenge was you were supposed to fish 
And if you lost, you had to eat a shad. I thought that was a dead dog challenge. If you walk to the dog, you had to eat a shad. Tell you what, man. I can't wait to go fishing. I need to. Stress level is really high. I'm not going to get into that. Down to 30 minutes, and I might make it back to the warehouse before it starts pouring in rain. Don't fall in front of me. Not unless you're at fault. If you're at fault, you want to pull out in front of me. You're putting your life in your own hands. <laughs> Trust me, at fault. If I'm not at fault, I'm hitting you. <laughs> And I'm going to say, oh, my back, my back, I need to be out for eight. Well, how long, Summer? What? I need to be out for at least four months. Now I can fish. <laughs> you find that uh, motor on uh, Marketplace? Is that where you found it, dog? Probably a lot closer to you. Oh, I've got it. We have a lot of people in this place now.
last command. Win, stupid bouncy row. Come on, give it that get over. And throw on the zone, no, wait. Get, what's to get over for that? I'll be up in the bottom net. This is where you gotta worry about somebody rearing the you or you rearing in somebody. Here and then uh, you get to 270. Right off the couch. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell it's raining up that way. Now, I can't wait till the weather changes and I can get out and go fishing more often. Then I'll try to get with get, get home early on Fridays. My luck could probably won't happen. It will come home, pick up Curtis, the boat batteries and all that stuff just hit the water. Get there. Oh, uh, half an hour uh, or half an hour. What it says, just really depends on the traffic up there. Oh, are you going live or something? Are you on the water? Are you fishing, Jody? I heard it was pouring down rain. I'm just bored watching Pat McAfee. He's over with now. All I want to talk about is that stupid girl from Iowa. I can't even remember her name. Girl basketball. A bunch of turtle bites, huh? Hook one, chop its head off, use it for bait. What tournament is this weekend? What's up, Ernie? Get that dinner started, Ernie. I don't think this weekend ain't the fish is on, is it? I thought that was last week, I don't know. Rustic skip jack battle this weekend. I thought that online fishing league was having their turn one of their tournaments this weekend. Not, but I'm not <clears throat> I'm not a tournament anymore. Fishing is uh what's it called? Le leisure, leisure, leisure activity. Iron cats. Huh. 
Yeah, I tried to warn Kevin about that. People do stupid stuff for uh, for money. Richard Tom was, uh, yeah, and there was one of them. <laughs> yeah, like I've said it before, and I don't care if they get mad at me. Chad does the best on tournaments because most of his tournaments are for some kind of charity, and that's the way it should be. If you want to fish a tournament for money, fish a live tournament because then you know if somebody's cheating or not. If they're cheating, you won't know. Especially if they're doing it off camera. You never know. I think. Great job. I don't know. This weekend kind of, I ain't put a damper on it. Especially with having somebody out there almost get seriously hurt. Because they didn't take their safety and priority going fishing for this tournament. I was watching that one because there was two people on that channel that was fishing the lake I fish or reservoir or whatever. But is there is their own? Yeah. I just enjoy fishing. I don't need to get paid to do it. <clears throat> My dad and my uncle didn't pay me to go fishing when, when I was a kid, so why do I need to get paid to go fishing now? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I know that might seem to be a little asshole way of saying it, but I'm an asshole. And you think about it when you're a little. How much money did your parents spend on taking you out fishing? <laughs> you know, don't think about that when you don't when you don't have bills. Once you get grown and you got bills, you're like, man, this fishing pole cost a lot. Man, when I broke that fishing pole when I was a kid, I wonder how much that cost my daddy or mom. You know what I mean? But stuff back then was pretty cheaper. Sarah told me to tell you she can't beat you and Curtis together with two. You want to go, bro? You tell her I said, you want to go, sister? <laughs> hey, Cindy.
hear me dog you tell her exactly in this words you want to go sister I I'm scared of her. I'm scared of her. She went down there, but Sunday, Sunday before last, who was the one that caught the fish? This guy right here, the one behind the work camera. This guy. Cause you are, I'm an awesome fisherman. Yeah, that's right, Uncle Blue. I'm just a regular asshole. Like I said, my uncle and dad didn't take pay me to go fishing with them when I was a kid. What the hell makes you think I want to get paid to fish now? Good time, catch fish. Sometimes not even catch fish. What the heck is that? What the this, crap is that? It, I, I had to. There's a dog that's running his freaking gums here, talking so much smack, it's it's starting to bother me. If he wants to go this Saturday, it's on. If he wants to be eating this Saturday, that's fine with me. Like I said, you tell that wife of yours, you want to go, sister? I'm here to fix the, put the beating on this here dog. Yeah, kick that dog like Catfish Dave did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I come up here and now all of a sudden he gets back up on the porch where he belongs. 6 a.m. Oh, no, 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 no. No better than that. 6 a.m. in the noon. He wants an early beating is what I'm reading. It won't be up till one or two. Ah. Yeah. I'll tell you I'll tell you what. Uh you throw I in Uncle Lou nine. too. I hey, you throw nine. in throw in Uncle Lou too. I got no problem, said, no problem beating up on the old man either. I he said wants to come nine, up here. Nine to two, nine a.m. to two p.m. There ain't no way J Dog would be up at six six o'clock in the morning anyhow. Ain't that it? So I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to hear that bull crap. Nice dog be more likely to get up at 6 a.m. So these well, these these jokers wanna wanna go, huh? Yeah. Hello, Miss Cindy. Hello, Miss Jody. Hello, Uncle Lou. I thought we were buddies, but I see you're on Team Dog. Who else is in here? Hey, Mike Irvin. Miss D, Cold Keep Billy. Ain't got much more longer. I'll be back at the warehouse. There's Uncle Ernie. Mason said, keep his name out your mouth. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Mason's in his room, probably hiding under the covers because he's scared. Okay, Uncle Real Uncle Lou is saying he was just going to keep it real. He thinks the twins have a shot. He says, "You know, Aunt Mindy's sitting on the couch, probably just sitting there laughing." <laughs>
It's lovely weather we got out here. Yeah. Said I could see the dark clouds above Columbus. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, there, dog, Mr. Mr. Dog, I'll tell you this. This weekend, we beat the crap out of you. We'll wait for your other friend to come down next weekend. We'll beat the stuffing out of you that weekend. And the next time, instead of putting just a one little dinky little fun size bag of M&Ms on my pillow, how about you put a bucket up underneath the bed, bed next time I come down there? <laughs> Hey, Jody, I'd be easy here on this channel because, you know, I have the power to time you out, girl. She said, didn't Curtis cry last time when J-Dog dumped the candy in the water? <laughs> I like that, Uncle Lou. That's a, he says, he said, no, that's too, I'm going to say the only shot you have is getting up out of bed by 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Surprised. Weather well, changing, fellers, ladies and fellers. But I know Uncle Lou's talking about Eric. I was up out of bed by all two last Saturday. Yeah, because we eat those. I already cut the grass and, and I both halfway spray painted. Tell Chad I said hi. She probably ain't with Chad. Well, she'll see him later on. Yeah, she'll see him after she gets home. Hey, Mike Irvin. As Leroy used to say, am I six? I don't see no buggy in here. Nah, he, I think he's, uh, he's either fixing his car or he went to go do that appraisal in the house. Yeah. I hope he gets his car fixed, so. Oh, hope, hope he gets something fixed. That, that stresses <laughs> me out when I don't have a vehicle. He's got the Buick, but still, when your main vehicle goes down, Stresses you out, makes you worry of how you're gonna get it fixed and when it's gonna get done. Yeah. All that crap. Well, now that I put dog back up on the porch where he belongs, he ain't in here chirping. <laughs> yeah, I just got done watching the pirate game, so we got we got beat. We got beat so bad and I had to come up here. <laughs> Oh, Jody talking some smack now. She said, I don't give a poop if you do time me out. I'm fixing to clock out. But you be careful getting home because I know how you are. Another. I done told her. I done told Jody. I said, one of these Friday nights on her flathead challenge. I've been listening. The destruction. They're going to come in there and show how everybody how it's done. Curtis, don't understand he has the flat tires on his bike. <laughs> like I said the other day, I can go in Eric's fish tank and outfish J Dog. Not scared, no, thank you, dog. And if I read that right, he said a thousand dollars to fish a fish against him. And Jody said boat versus boat. But I'd hate to take a thousand dollars from J Dog, and I'd hate to take Jody's boat away from her. And I think we live in Ohio, where the fishing ain't as good as either one of those states. 
and the width category. Ernie Brown. Notice I didn't call him uncle because he's a traitor. <laughs> Ernie said, Lou, all I hear is talk. Ernie, when was the last time you were fishing? What, back in the 70s? You got you got no boat in this this uh here battle. And don't tell me you're gonna go over to the mud hole and catch some fish, because I know that ain't gonna happen. Loose lips. <laughs> this comes from a guy that can't get off the couch. I see Skip's lives in Ohio and he catches a lot of fish. Yeah. I also see Cody. He lives in Kentucky. He catches a lot of fish. What, <laughs> what are you trying to say, J Dog? <laughs> you tell you what, Uncle Lou, you can. I'm off the couch right now. What are you up? Looking out the window? Yeah, he's right at the door. Yeah. Well, he's probably at the door scratching. Aunt Mindy, let him out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't beat the bricks off of Cody. Any day of the week. You mean you can beat the bricks off of Cody any day of the week. Hey, Brian B. Get back on the couch, Uncle Scooter. <laughs> Stupid phone. I know what you meant. I know what you meant, dog. <laughs> Uncle Lou, Brian, don't you have another elderly lady to go pick on? Ooh. Hey, 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 that's my Uncle Lou now, everybody. You all need to sit and relax or I'll put all of you in time out. You pontoon Jody's picking on my Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, do you have a horn or a bell on your scooter? <laughs> Uh, okay, you have heat problem today, and I have died and knees. I couldn't get out, but today is coming soon. I should, shouldn't should say son of, was you, my son, you fishy. Uh, Jody, I have my own horn. <laughs> Uncle B said, hush it. <laughs> but I still love y'all. We love you too, Uncle Ernie. <laughs> Uncle Lou, what color pom poms do you have hanging off the handlebars? Jesus, Jody. <laughs> do you have a basket on it? They're black and yellow ones because he's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, right? <laughs> yes, horns are in his yard. <laughs> Uh, J Dog said, Jody, he even has a radio on his scooter. Minty turns his radio on all the time. <laughs> uh, I got Minty's probably just sitting there, like, oh, if she's home, she's probably like. <laughs> Brian said, Tampa Bay fan. Good grief. Why, yes, there is a catch all in the front of it. <laughs> mm. You know, he probably can't wait to throw that scooter in the trash. Oh, no, he's going to keep it around for the other ankle. <laughs> for the other ankle. I said tune his radio, j Dog says. Turn is radio. Tune, turn, same thing. Jody has a clown horn on her hers and a basket on it. Mm -hmm. 
run them over. And you know that's the way home. Yeah. Home, you home. bet. Warehouse. Nope. You'd rather be going there. Well, you got to go get your truck anyhow. Then you said you're going to the store. Yeah, I got to stop somewhere. I might just stop the one now in Chester. So yeah. Be there right now I don't think they're going to Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Lou is gradually transitioning to the walking stick. Uh oh. Yeah, so everybody better keep their distance. Uncle Lou's going to hit you with the stick. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Might I get be that taser. I don't know if you guys can see how dark the clouds are. Get that taser and I'll tase Uncle Lou. Watch Uncle Lou do the cruffy flop. <laughs> Wait a second. Everybody else is picking on him. No, no, I can't be doing that. Forearm crutches help a lot, says Jody. Mindy is probably putting lotion on his foot. I heard she likes feet. <laughs> uh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that would have been cool. Everybody get to sign his cast. Well, you know, his cast is in uh, Pittsburgh Steeler colors. It's black and yellow. <laughs> Brian said, oh, Lord, he's going to be walking the streets with his hospital robe on and his walking stick. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> the flap in the back would be wide open, Brian. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> the wind blows right you ain't just seeing the rear end you're seeing the whole kit and caboodle <laughs> yeah i hope i never have now to the boat o'brien ties those up tight <laughs> ah it's nurse brian i hear <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Lou's going to look pretty funny with one one foot uh, in his toenails painted. Oh, there went your car. Oh, you see it. Yeah, I saw one of them stupid Broncos, too. Yep. I'm getting down in the town, it pulled right out in front of that dodge. Okay, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm filling in the gap. You'll move or I'll move you. These songs. Says one, we got all out here. We go all out here. <laughs> So I said, Uncle Lou, you got to stop running through the cornfields backwards, brother. I don't care what Ernie told you. <laughs> oh, shoot. It looks like you got 17 people in here. Yep. Yep. Three Come on, Mike. I'm going to get to the warehouse and get my own truck before it starts pouring down the rain. Appreciate y'all stopping in here. That was my minute. 
guarantee you all everybody's all the other drivers are already gone all at home they go it's only what but here in god's country it's only 4 30. yep i'm normally always the last driver back it don't matter if i do hurry up i have the long one of the longest routes if not the longest but the most stops Almost Data. very bored to sit here and listen to these two. two. Uh, come, 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 wait, what? most time come, it was me. Come Saturday, you're going to do more than just sit and listen, son. All you're going to hear is fish on, fish on. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say this real quick, too. Uh, when I was down there at J-Dogs, I did learn something when I was down there fishing with J-Dog, Terror, Bugman, Mason. I did learn something while I was down there. Want to know what that is, Eric? It says, it, it's don't cross this line. Cross this line, find out. <laughs> Is this a driving channel? No, this is not a driving channel. This is whatever I, I get myself into. Hey, looky there, Eric. There's Tara right now. What? You want to go, sister? Your, your old man's putting, <laughs> putting uh, his foot in your mouth. His foot. There goes that truck again. You will have to have one of our videos to hear that, she said. <laughs> well, you did it now. You're on your own. Hey, it, Eric's not stepping back now. Yeah, I'm not scared. You want to go, sister? Terror and uh, Jade Dog versus Curtis and Eric. Saturday. Uncle Lou said, oh, now, now, now you've been slapped. No, I didn't cross the line there, Uncle Lou. She said, it's on now. <laughs> well, better tell J-Dog to drink a lot of coffee. Or something. The storms are getting ready to move in. You can smell it. Hey, hey, Tara said me and my Fruity Pebbles will whoop you. Uh, I'll be eating my life cereal, so me and my life cereal will whoop you. Like cereal, I'm getting me some bacon and eggs, baby. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Cereal breakfast. Uh, well, great. Now Uncle Lou's right because we ain't never gonna leave until two o'clock. Y'all never get Eric out the house. Whatever. Seem to think that. Just wait and see. <laughs> Just wait and see. Cross this line and find out. How to tow your shoes. I think she was trying to say tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to speak Jody ish. Uh -huh. Tennessee slang. Yeah. Uh oh, he lost his hat. Ooh, you better get it before it blows away in the wind. 
just run it over. Mike, let's go. Probably only got 20 more minutes before the rain gets here. If that. Yeah, it looks like it'll be nice and uh, good this weekend. So it ain't going to be that bad. This challenge will be over by 6.15 or 9.15. Either way, 15 minutes after the twins finally show up. <laughs> Yeah, you go up, <laughs> catch the fish, and go home. Kind of like Uncle Lou knows us. That's how we roll. <laughs> oh, kind of like Uncle Lou knows us or something. <laughs> uh, my buddy J Dog had to put his oh. J his big boy underwear on, and he said he's going to challenge us. It's so. A- Last time I checked, it was 62 and partly cloudy. Yep, my kind of weather. I'm like, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect weather. <laughs> yep. I think it's at five to seven mile an hour wind gust Saturday. That's perfect weather. That's so said, all you need is one. Probably one or two fish, and you've done with the whooping on that J Dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now he's now he's wanting to know, Eric, what time of you guys going to beat the stuffing out of me? He says, I said it already, nine and two. He said nine a.m. to two p.m. Dog. God time, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> He says, if you can make it, if Tara can drag your butt up out of bed. I hope it stays that way, Uncle Lou. J Dog said, "Good Lord, this would be a so easy, man. I'd hate, I'd hate to see the twins beat the stuffing out of me." Yeah, we ain't gonna be after this week, and we ain't gonna be allowed down there to visit Dog and Terror no more. I know. You beat him like a redheaded stepchild. Be like, oh, good lord. I've taught these boys too much now. Now look at them. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, yep, there ain't nothing I can do now. I've just turned these two on to everybody in the YouTube world. Now we're all screwed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Lou, you had a hand in that too, brother. (laughs) Uncle Lou, for some reason, I'm thinking it's a good thing they are flapping their gums now. (laughs) Ah, shoot. Flapping my gums like the fish will be flopping out of the water for me and Curtis this Saturday. Oh, man. There's still people here. j Dog said, I promise you we will have over 100 pounds of fish, so you better better up your game, little girls. This is pretty, he's a, he's a pretty tough guy when it comes up here. He can't come up on panel and talk. But you can talk and chat. Big tough guy. He's sitting on the porch talking, ain't he? Nah, he's so he's so tough. He's in the house on the couch. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'd get a hold of that 15 year old girl and ask her what's her secret and whoop J Dog with that one. What'd she catch? 101 or something like that? Yeah, on a jug line. Yeah, well, he didn't say we had to catch it on anything else, rod and reel. He didn't say none of that. <laughs> hey, hey, heck, I can go out there and noodle. <laughs> Now, did anybody say they were going to go live during this? Are we going live or are we doing our own little private thing? I'm sitting here at the chiropractor. Tara is getting loosened up for Saturday. Dang. Now, now it's starting to sound like a movie. Hey, yo. Tara. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. But speaking of new, you better get those noodles cracking or Eric's going to have your hide. Shut up, Uncle Lou. You don't want the world to see what happens to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome back there, Uncle Ernie. Dog, that's up to you. Mute, if that's what you and Eric want to do is be live, I'm fine with it too. It don't bother me none. I don't talk much. I don't talk much either, so everybody here in YouTube world knows that I don't that's why I call myself quiet it's on like Donkey Kong brothers all right sister I'm, I'm sorry for what I'm gonna have to do to you you blame that on mr. dog I'm going to give him his uh, yearly flea bath. <laughs> oh, yeah, the hockey game's getting ready to come home. Ernie, you had you hanging around Chillicothe too much. I ain't said anything. Eric started it. Oh. So this turned into a cat fight or what? Eric started it? Boys, I don't think I'm going to make it that way I feel when I go out to do things. That's why you're supposed to take it easy there, Ernie. I'm going to start nothing. But I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it and j Dog, you're going to acknowledge me. <laughs> oh, that's right, Eric. That's right. I'm going to put my one tuxedo shirt on, too. I'm going to be like, Tara, J-Dog, acknowledge us. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. As your tribal fisherman, acknowledge us. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't going to know to put any tires away. Instead of the blood line, we call it the fish line, yeah. the fishing line, or something like that. Fish line, the fish line. Yeah. Oh, look, Tara's still in here talking. When we whoop you all, you have to have to bow down to the queen and the king. Ooh, I'll bow down to the queen, but I don't see no king anywhere. <laughs> you mean the mutt? <laughs> Hey, if I lose, I'll 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 do a little dance and song for y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you want to hear it, but you know I'll do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to worry about that. 
they ain't gonna be able to find no fish when that river is flooded full of trees and everything else uh <laughs> as much as i uncle lou would say i flap my gums oh i'll put anything past them <laughs> She is the original queen. He is just a dog with fleas. <laughs> dog, a dog with mange. Uncle Lou said, Curtis, can you do me a favor and keep your clothes on? You got it, Uncle Lou. <laughs> uh, all I did was make breakfast, run to the store, pick up, uh, pick and unload food, come in, fix beans, cake, cut up some lettuce and cakes now i'm beat ernie you ain't a young you ain't young no more i gotta turn that camera off j dog said that's cute you said if i lose yeah uh, if, if the brothers if the brothers beat you too i want you and tara to sit up there and uh do a little song or dance or at least say we acknowledge you Come on, let's have fun with this. That's what it's all about. A lot of people's lost that fun. If if I had my if I had a terror shirt, I'd wear it that weekend. And then I'd make Eric wear a J Dog shirt. And then I would just we would just beat the bricks off of you two. I ain't wearing no J Dog shirt. That shirt's bad luck. Well, you were, uh, if you had the terror shirt, you wear terror, and I'd wear the dog shirt. Just acknowledge us, yeah. If we win, you have to dump a bag of peanut ahead. No hell, I mean hell to the no. Hell you're no, dump, I ain't wasting. You're dumping down his throat. <laughs> oh, yeah, down down the river of my gullet. I'm not dumping no hell to the no. Now we're getting a little crazy, dog. Yeah, no. Hey, no. No, no, no. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't wasting a, a good bag of peanut M&Ms. Sorry about your luck, Junior. Come up with something better than that. You have no luck. No, I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> I'm gonna be in. Uh, who's who show is it in the morning? Rustics. I'm gonna be up there yeah. flat my gum. I'm gonna flat my gums up in Rustic's channel tomorrow too. Oh, here's Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, ain't you gotta take your medicine or something by now? Aunt Mindy, Uncle Lou's up running around with his flap out again. Can you go get him? <laughs> 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 he said 12 minutes. <laughs> uh, shoot. See you later, Miss Tara. I would say keep that leash tight on that dog, but, uh, well. I've been around. <laughs> you keep on messing with Lee. He's going to show you, big bird. <laughs> I don't want to see his little bird. <laughs> she said, have it. You dug yourself a big enough hole. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> And make you sing Sesame Street.
Nope. Terry, you nasty. Don't tell them what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, she's going to neuter you. His cast is yellow. Yeah, it's yellow and black. I tried to get him to paint his toenails. I tried to get Aunt Mindy to paint his toenails, and then I tried to get uh, the grandkids to paint the toenails, too. I thought it would be hilarious. He takes a nap, and they just do a little touch-up. He wouldn't mind, anyhow. I didn't see black. Yeah, there's black. It was black. Black and yellow. He'll tell you it's Iowa Hawkeye's colors, but it's really Steeler colors. He just doesn't like to tell everybody. Now, if we win the Super Bowl, he'd be like, yep, I told you all I was a Steeler fan. <laughs> That's why I call him Big Bird. Nine to two. Doobie doobie. He said, guess there's no reason to get bait for Saturday. Problem only needs night crawler. Probably only need night crawlers. Go ahead, just bring night crawlers. That's there it is. Well, there's even nastier. He will put a stringer on you. <laughs> Here's four rain starts. It's coming. J Dog, I don't want to hear any kind of excuses. You bring your best bait. <laughs> he said, Are you a farmer? Are you short selling fertilizer with the best of them? <laughs> yeah, shit talker. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, loser buys dinner next time you are here. I guess. Yeah, fair. sure. Yeah, sure. That sounds fair. Then at the little diner or Ponderosa? He said down there. Mm, so that would be a little diner. I'll get a hoagie. I don't know what that, whatever that Terry and J-Dog had, that's what I'll eat. I don't know. I don't remember what that was, but I'll take that. <laughs> Jeez, Ernie. Ernie said a can of Spam and crackers. <laughs> cheap, but not that cheap, Ernie. Come on. Good Lord, Ernie. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's what it was called. Oh, yeah. It was good. Yeah, but do we have if we do when we do come down? Do we have to take your illegitimate illegitimate child with us too? <laughs> yeah, you know who we're talking about. That name we ain't speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> that little fellow. <laughs> hey, Wallbash Nate. What's up, Nate? 
<laughs> he said he won't be down here. What's the fun in that? Ah, it's not. It's not your weekend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I think I, I think Sit. I like, like he's drunk. <laughs> Nate. Talking about J Dog's illegitimate child. Everybody, everybody knows him as Bugman. This is my buddy, one of the other drivers' crush. Good lord, it's like Danny Stone. Yeah, he's got his rod sitting in the back, even though he's a bass fisher. Run. He's got a plopper, <laughs> a roll plopper. A little real. Kind of, it's kind of like Danny Stone's truck. The only difference is somebody would have stole them. Oh, yeah, Danny? Danny drives a Dodge, I think. Danny plays in the mud. Yeah, there ain't mud all over the back of this truck, all over his truck. <laughs> Rigging them for catfish. <laughs> Seventeen people up in here, Eric. Yeah. Mike Irvin says, "Yep, you need your high top boots in here." <laughs> Tara said, Jason, you're always in the gutter. You, yep. Mike, you're talking about the dog. He's in here talking too much crap. He's writing checks. His ass can't cash. Yeah. <laughs> he's going yeah, to have to ask his uh, Uncle Lou for a loan. I'm fixing to put a beating on that boy. <laughs> Nate says, good thing I got my work boots on. Mm. Yeah, the only thing you and uh, Dog's going to have to figure out, Eric, is whose channel is it going to be on. Or if you guys are going to be live or what? You can do a private live and only invite the cool kids. <laughs> Ernie says the dog has mason jars in the ground if he needs money. <laughs> That's a Kentucky bank. He probably does have some out in the yard somewhere. <laughs> Wouldn't shock me none. Like I said, privately, you guys will have to figure it out. Let's y'all and like I said, just figure it out. Whatever y'all doing, I'm okay with it. I'm sure Tara, Tara's okay with it. We all just give a <laughs> wall bash. Nate says buggy needs to get with me for decent fish. You saying that dog hooks and hammocks? Uh, who else has uh, Buggy fish with Buggy? Uh, I think has he fished with Chad and, and D? No, I don't think so. Well, Bass Nate is only an hour from him. And Nate, how comes you ain't never fished with the dog? Ernie won another Mad Cat's rod, Eric, and gave it to Chrissy. Yeah, he don't need it. He can't fish worth a lick anyway. Like him brand new Uncle Lou rods he's got sitting in his garage. He ain't never seen the light of day. Probably never will. Oh, you're north. Yeah. <laughs> 
What are you up by, like, Fort Wayne or something? He's probably up there by, like, Fort Wayne or something. <laughs> if not, I'll triple my money on them. Yeah, Ernie, yeah. J-Dog from J-Dog's Gone Fishing said, I'm sorry, has anyone heard of the name Nate person? Logan Sport. I never even heard of that. Oh, there's a lot of people that's fish with J Dog. Yeah, well, most, on, I'd, on dog pound, and you don't have no more. I'd say oh, nearly 25 to 30 percent of the community is fish with him. Hey, he's even had people internationally fish with him. Yep, our, our buddy, our buddy Martin. Yep. Ernie's headed back to bed. Nate, Nate's breaking out the excuses already. He said, nope, too busy with the new house and kids. And <laughs> J-Dog said, I've seen a short with him. 10-inch channel cat. Lafayette, Indiana. I know where that is. Ernie says he has uh, work to do tomorrow. I'm planting some corn. I'm planting some corn. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. J Dog says, You want to go, bro? Talking to Nate. I noticed Jody wised up and didn't talk no smack. I noticed after the uh, the beating she got last year, we took her into turned her into bait fisherman, Jody. Ernie said, "I gotta go. I gotta get my hair done." Just now, <laughs> no. starting to get fishing again. Got to get my shoulder over, so I should have the blade sharpened. Yeah, we gotta get ours sharpened too, Ernie. Cold Creek Billy said Ernie has plenty of rods. He should help brother out. <laughs> I think Billy's in, in uh, what, Virginia or something like that. I think, he's in, I think he's in West Virginia. He's the one that Bugman was talking about uh, riding the whatever trails. Cast <laughs> West Virginia. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because he's not, he's not too far from uh, Chucky and uh, Annette, I think. Yeah, no. Missy Kennedy. Oh, he, he's down around Missy Kennedy. Well, I feel sorry for you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, J Dog. J Dog said Billy is West Virginia where the men are men and the sheep are scared. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. I don't care who you are, that's funny. You know how they say they got wolf man, uh wolf man around everywhere? Down there in West Virginia, they say they have sheep man. 
See, that's what I thought. Chuck, Chucky and Nanette is only 30 minutes away. Those are some good people. Yeah. Every once in a while, I have to go down there. Live tires and uh, point outside of Point Pleasant. Yeah, I thought Billy was supposed to come fish with you sometime, dog. Rebel Rock is a nice hangout in West Virginia, up in Wilo. You guys better hope that they don't get the lock close so I can fish the upper side of the dam because you'll be beat for sure. Even get there. Wow, he's uh, he's he's pretty confident. I like it. I like it. He's confident. I like it. A confident dog. Nothing like beating a confident dog. J Dog versus the brother. Well, no, J Dog and Tara versus the brothers. Like I said, you guys just have to figure out if you guys are doing it live or not live, and whose channel, and whatever you guys want to do. It's cool. Like I said, after that, shoot, I might do the beat and I want to give J Dog. I might go after Brian. I might take on Brian and uh, E. Give those two a beat and a welcome back party. Oh, shoot, Jimmy went and got the cheese there. Jimmy got Parmesan cheese already? Yeah. Done it. Let's stop at Walmart. Yeah. That's why I'm sitting here messing with this stuff now. Uh, J Dog apparently thinks he's going to catch a fish. Stop getting some Texas toast. Texas toast. (laughs) 
shoot, I just I just might as well start whipping up on the whole YouTube community in itself. They call me badass Curtis. I seen where Justin from has his boat for sale. Oh wow. I didn't know that. Lights green. Step on it. Dang, it's windy out here. I said the, the only way J Dog's gonna beat us is if Mother Nature helps him out. That's the only way he's gonna win. Uh oh, Ernie. Ernie says there's a pontoon up the road for self. Uh, I don't marketplace the J Dog didn't see it. <laughs> nope. Say so, Ernie. Go take a picture of it and send it to Dog. He'll like to see it. <laughs> well, Eric, I might have to hop off here because, uh, you know, I got to get this stuff done. So. I just wanted to come up here because I saw J-Dog barking. I wanted to put him back on the porch. <laughs> I see you still got, was it, 15, 16 people in here? Yeah, something like that. There you go. I probably wondered why did I see any storms? Well, it's it. See if I can make it home before the storm. Make it back to the warehouse. Yeah. Which I did. Terror show, Sim. <laughs> All right, Uncle Lou's got no faith. Hey, yeah, Uncle Lou, when we beat them, you're a pro staffer. You have to acknowledge us too. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear Uncle Lou say, "I acknowledge the twins." I bet Aunt Mandy's sitting on the couch saying, "Yep, I bet them boys will beat beat old J Dog and Tara." And Uncle Lou and Aunt Mandy are probably having their own little side bet sitting there. She's probably like, Jesus, Curtis is a shit stirrer. <laughs> Pro staff, they went from, they went mad cats. Dang. So, Uncle Luke, should me and Eric go and take that Pro Staff rod from, from uh, J-Dog and uh, we, we hold it up like it's the belt or something? Sit there and hold it up and say, acknowledge us. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, I'm telling Tara, Uncle Lou is in trouble. But you're the one that switched over to the Mad Cats. Uncle Lou didn't have nothing to do with that. All right, Eric, I'm hopping off here because, uh, like I said, I got to go do it. See y'all later. Yeah. I'll Jay Dog. Jay Dog, good luck. You're going to need it, son. All right. There you go. Yep. <laughs>
out of here too, guys. I'm about to hit that end button here in a few minutes and to get down the road here, get to the next stoplight. Um, I appreciate y'all coming in, shooting the crap with me for a little while while my window lit, the window, window watch. I appreciate y'all coming in here, chatting, having a few laughs. That's what it's all about is having laughs and having a good time. That's what it's about. Leave the drama at the door, you know. Y'all be safe out there. And uh, look out for these storms tonight that are coming through Ohio and everywhere else they're coming through. We'll probably see you tomorrow on the uh, I don't know what Rustic's calling his show tomorrow morning. Coffee time or something? I don't know. We'll see y'all tomorrow on Rustic Outdoors channel. Uh, I don't know if you're going to live at 5, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or not, but I know he'll be live tomorrow because I've seen something there already. But we'll catch y'all tomorrow on Rustic Outdoors and and Friday will be on Buggy's channel. Uh, love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your day. And if I don't see you sometime around, wet some lines and have a good time.